Welcome to another video, it's been a while but now I am back. Today we're gonna look at FigJam, the new tool by Figma. Figma is an online whiteboard for teams to ideate and brainstorm together. You can just do some brainstorms in there or you can make some flowcharts and there are a bunch of cool templates that you can use in the community. So. Let's have a look, let's have a first look at FigJam. So as I said in the intro, if you go to the community on the top left over here, you see a new tab, FigJam, and here you see a lot of cool templates that you can use. Flowcharts, user journey maps, mood boards, uh, crazy eights, brainstorm exercises, retrospectives, uh, an icebreaker. I see a lot of cool stuff in here. It's, uh, yeah, the community already made a lot, a lot of cool stuff, and this tool has only been released for over a week, so that's pretty, pretty cool stuff. You see that a lot of, you know, remote and online teams use this to do retrospectives uh, and some brainstorming or some, yeah, some meetings, some, uh, some more interactive dynamic meetings. So uh, if we go over here on the top, we can uh, make a new fig jam. You can choose between design or jam. You can also start it when you are in your team. Let's say we go over here. Um, I want to do this one. Then over here, you can click new and then you can go to design or fig gem file. And if you click browse templates over here, you see fig gem and here you can see a lot of templates. Also good to know fig gem will be free for the rest of 2021. Uh, it's still in, be in a beta phase. So yeah, it's cool that you can try this out. So let's set up a new file and just, you know, have a look at it. Now let's play around with it. So you, as you can see over here, uh, we have this big, big whiteboard. You can just zoom in, zoom out. You see the dots, they become closer when you zoom in. So it can be as big as you want. So what you can do is you can add some of these sticky notes over here. You can just pull them up and then drag them and then you can just start adding some text to it. Uh, you can make the text bigger. You can make it bold. You can give it another color like this. Uh, and yeah, you can add some basic stuff in it. You can add a numbered list like this. All right, pretty cool. Um, yeah, so that's uh first thing that you can do. You also have these shapes that you can play with. So you can have, uh, you can have an ellipse, but you can also, if you click on it, you know, pull up these filters and then you can make it a little bit bigger. Screen one, let's say you want to do like a basic flow chart. It's also possible in here. So I made this one. I can duplicate this by doing command T or using the option button, the same as in Figma. And then if you drag like this, we can go over here and then we can use a connector to connect it. Now we can do something, I don't know, like this. And here we can also use the connector. You can add a text flow um you can add a different color you can make this bold strike true there's a different of variations in these connectors so as you can see there are quite some tools there that you can use to to make some flow charts so this is yeah some pretty cool stuff if if you're in a meeting or you quickly want to throw together a flow chart it's a really intuitive tool. Uh, I've seen a lot of flowchart tools that are not that intuitive, but this really works well. It's especially when you have experience with Figma, you have uh, some same shortcuts, some same ways of working. So then it's uh, it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, you can uh, use a connector by the panel, by going to the panel down here, or you can do Shift C, and then you can also start dragging stuff on the canvas. So yeah, that is pretty cool. You can also add some text over here, feature list. I'm just doing some random stuff over here. So uh, just trying it out together with you guys. I haven't played a lot with it. You have this marker over here, a couple of colors. Let's take red. Let's make this a little bit fatter and they can just start drawing if you want. So yeah, this is also pretty cool. If you want to sketch out some early ideas, I don't know, <laughs> something like this. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, you have the cursor if you want to select stuff and you have the hand tool if you want to move around. Also something pretty cool, pretty new over here is the cursor chat. So if you're with multiple people in this fig jam board, you can just say, hello, how are you? 
and then yeah if you just enter or you type something new it goes away so it's yeah pretty cool to just uh, talk with people. They also uh, added audio support. Uh, it's not available for me right now, but it's also possible to start talking with audio inside this file. Another cool feature is the stamp. So if you go over here to the bottom panel, there you can yeah use the stamp and you can say maybe like, hey, this is a good idea. You can add some thumbs up and if you hold it, then it becomes bigger. You can access it by using the panel down here or you can press E. And you have emotions like this and then you can just yeah give a lot of love to something uh or if you say like hey man this flow is on fire we can do something like this so you know it it, it makes these meetings these brainstorms online it makes it really interactive and that's something that that we all have been missing in the past year during this pandemic so i think it's pretty cool that you can now do stuff like this hopefully you don't do it too much to annoy your co-workers uh yeah so it's pretty cool googly eyes over here as well you can even just put yourself somewhere yeah maybe you can say hey i this is my idea also pretty cool is you can add this library you can add these components so there are already a couple of pre-made uh components in here uh like the agenda kit agenda kit here you can just add a meeting summary it is all added with auto layout as you can see you can just add some text uh, so that's pretty pretty cool stuff you can also if we go over uh, let me see we click on the plus over here you can also add your own uh, team library so if you have like a design system or something you can just pull it in over here add to file yeah over here i can just start adding them to this board and then yeah if it's a variant we can even enter the variant functionality of this component which is also pretty pretty cool so yeah it's it's handy to pull in your own designs um let's say we want to have this one in it over here let's zoom out just copy and paste these screens and now yeah it's really really cool to to make some flow charts let's do shift c and then we can connect this shift c and then we can also connect this so now you can just you know add a sticky over here you can say extra info i don't know maybe draw some arrows from here to there i don't know you know you see you can you can really do some cool stuff uh if you want to change the copy of this figma design this is also uh possible uh and voila yeah so uh it's pretty cool you can add some images in here as well uh let's pull up an image of myself up okay and you can crop it a little bit oh oops like this all right pretty cool make a little bit smaller uh so yeah you can also use it to create some dynamic mood boards maybe um yeah some pretty pretty cool stuff let me go over something that I've been working on. So at Panda Panda, we're working on an internal design system. So over here, I just made a list of wireframe components and UI components. Uh, I listed a couple of them and then every one of the team, they can just, you know, add a star if they like something. So over here, I see, all right, form. Yeah, let's give that a star. Maybe I can only give one star per, uh, all right, perfect. Uh, so that's something that you can really easily do. Then you just have it central in your Figma file. So if I go over here to our Panda Panda team, to our design system, you see I have this one components for our PDS, which is the Panda design system. Maybe we can quickly go over to the community uh, and open a random template. Let's open the flowchart. Uh, yeah, open in my drafts folders uh, for Sebastian. Okay, that's me. So let's see what they have been doing over here. So here, as you can see, they made different components for a flowchart, start, decision, input, choice, process, end. Uh, they made some arrows. So if you want to start making your own flowchart, you can just drag this one, hold option, and then you duplicate it. Uh, let's say you want to put a decision over here, and then we want to connect it. Shift C, we drag it over here. Yeah, and then maybe we can add some text you know sticky note this is good stuff so yeah it looks like a pretty straightforward tool and i think there's going to be a lot more possible in the future 
but it really, really is an intuitive and handy to use tool. Figma is going to keep on working on this. They know this is an important space. Definitely now that a lot of teams are remote and working online. So I would definitely recommend for you to check this out. It's completely free for the rest of the year. So just, you know, start playing around with it and check it out. All right. Thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you next time.